Hello and welcome. I'm Chris from the Learn British English free channel on YouTube and Google Plus and my website www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk. In this lesson, the focus is going to be on common British hand gestures. So we're not doing verbal communication, but rather non-verbal communication. Something I wanted to say is that I won't be doing any rude gestures for you. I know that there are many, as in every culture, but for once I won't be doing rude things in this lesson, so I'm um, sorry about that. Let's focus on the polite ones and the useful ones that you can use every day. I'm going to start with counting, and first of all, let me check that you know the vocab for the fingers on the hand, because I'll be using them to explain which finger to use. Um, the first one, this one here, that's your index finger. That one is your middle finger. This one, whoops, there we are. That's your ring finger. That is your little finger, the one at the end, and your thumb, of course. If we want to display the number one, we use our index finger. For two, we add the second, the middle finger. So for number one, we never use the thumb, we always use the index finger, and we add the middle finger like that. Always do it this way round, it's the same as the peace or, or victory signs. Don't do it that way, uh, because that, that way, the other way round, is a very rude insult in Britain. So always remember to hold your hand that way when you're doing the number two. Number three, number four, and then if you want to display five, then we add the thumb at the end. One, two, three, four, five. And sometimes 10 using the other hand, but that's not very common. That's counting. And then um, the reason why, well, one of the reasons we don't use the thumb for counting is that if we use a thumb like that, then it means good, okay, something like that. It might be, um, Someone asks me how I am, I'll say good, or I might not even say anything, I'll just give them the thumbs up, or they, I, they might ask me, my opinion, is something okay, that kind of thing. I will do that if it is, if it's good. That's a very positive thing. The other use we have for the thumb is hitchhiking. This is when you are, st it, it might happen, it might not, you're standing by the road and people are driving past and you want someone to stop and, and give you a ride somewhere. So you stand uh, at the side of the road holding your your um, hand out with the thumb towards the road. Beckoning, to beckon. This is a gesture when we want people to, to come closer, basically. So the, the quite common that people will simply use the index finger like that, um, but they might use the, the whole hand or even a gesture like that. All those kind of things, they can mean you want the person to come closer, or they want you to bring you something, anything like that. This one is another positive one. So we're making a circular ring gesture with our thumb and index finger. And it means perfect, basically, if something is perfect or, or really, really good. So if you ask me how I am and I do this, then that means I'm perfect or you ask me what I thought of a, a piece of work or, or something like that, or maybe a, a, a meal. If I do that, it means couldn't be better, basically. So that's a really positive meaning in Britain. Sometimes you might see people put their palm out like, like that. So if they do it flat and don't move, that can mean stop. It might be that you're moving towards them and they want you to stop, don't come any closer. It might be that they want you to, to stop talking, perhaps. Anything like that. So the flat palm like that, no movement, that means stop. And the last thing is to wave. To wave, it might be in greeting or goodbye. And of course, you, you probably know about it, something like that. Or you, people wave in different ways. Sometimes I, I do something like that with the fingers. I don't know why. Like I said, it's often that people will do it in like, hello, how are you, or goodbye. It might be that you see someone you know, but they are far away, maybe on the other side of the road. You can't talk to them and say hello, so you just give them a wave like that. The meaning will be clear. 
That concludes this lesson. I've covered the gestures that I wanted to. Did I miss some out? I, I probably did. Please leave a comment or some feedback if that's so, or if you have any other thoughts, you're welcome to, of course. But I hope that this was helpful otherwise. Thanks very much for watching. Please do use the websites I mentioned before on Facebook, YouTube, Google+, and the main website www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk to catch up on all the free lessons we've done so far. My name is Chris, and I'll be back soon. Here's a wave for you. Goodbye. <laughs>